Living well with HIV. Jack McEnroe. Thank you. Hey everybody, I'm Drew Carey. You're watching Living Well with HIV. God bless you. We are celebrating Pride right here in the middle of heart at things, and we run into two beautiful young ladies, very close friend I like of that mine. Young part. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I'll take that. Why don't you tell us your name and what you do? My name is Madonna Cacciatore, and uh, I work for AIDS Project Los Angeles, and I'm also an actor. And I uh, produce special events for APLA. What kind of acting you do? Um, comedy, drama, I love it all. So just mostly I'm a theater actor, but I came here to pursue my film and TV career. And now I'm uh, also working for a cause that's very important to me because I lost my brother in 1991 to AIDS. So wow. happy to be working where I'm working. Thank you. Uh, what can you tell us about the Dying March? The Dyke March? Oh, it was fun. It really was. It was fun. It's just <laughs> sassy. We rode our bicycles here hoping that we could be a part of the Dykes on bikes. Doesn't that make sense? Wrong bikes. Come on. Wrong bikes. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong bikes. So how hard is it to work with your partner as, as her promoter? You know what? Her? It's not hard at all. I mean, a lot of people will come to me when we're at events because I'm always with her at every event. And they'll say, okay, well, so this next one. I don't work there. I know it seems like it because I'm at all the events, but if you have any questions, you go straight to the source. I, I really enjoy it. I really, really do. Um, I've lost a lot of friends to the disease, unfortunately, and so it, it just feels good to me to always be present in it and be present for my friends and be present for family and be present for Madonna and, and her brother as well, even though I didn't get the opportunity to meet him. Now, we saw a lot of young LGBTV coming down the parade today. What, how can we help them to still come out and be themselves? Um, they just need to know that they're the most beautiful people walking. And, um, you know, I was, um, I was really moved today by the young people who danced with us in our part of the parade. We had a mini flash mob going on, and it, they were amazing. And, and just that youthful energy, and uh, just be yourselves and focus on the good stuff. There is so much love out there, and you really have to gravitate toward the love. Let go all that hateful stuff. Those people are out there, but they don't really matter. You matter, and uh, the cause matters, and just standing up for who you are, and. Uh, being true to yourself you just have to be yourself and there'll be people who will love you hang out with those people the other ones adios because we don't need you um, yeah that's how I live my life I've been out since I was 16 years old I'm now not 16 years, not 16 years old anymore <laughs> it wasn't so easy when I was younger it was there was nothing cool about being gay um, People like Ellen DeGeneres and people like that have helped me, uh, but I also knew who I was from a very early age, and if you know who you are, and you know who you are, be true to that, because none of these other people are gonna, are gonna live your life for you. They're not gonna support you when you need them, even if you try to be what they tell you to be. So just be yourself, focus on the love, and surround yourself with loving, pe like-minded people and you'll be okay. Now, what kind of impact do you think it will have? Because 
she mentioned Alan DeGeneres, and her mom was walking in the parade today supporting Alan. Yeah. What do you think that that will change for parents? You know what? I think with each generation, there's been huge changes. It is, and a lot more support groups, but. We're finding that because it is so prevalent that everybody is coming out, that they are staying in the public eye, that they are being themselves and they are being true to themselves, as well as the unfortunate parts of it, as we all know with the teen suicides and what have you from bullying, that parents are stepping up to the plate. It is a different generation of parent as well. It wasn't the parents that we, we had. had. I mean, we were just a different generation. Our parents were a different generation. The parents now, I can't believe that I'm actually old enough to be a grandmother, which I don't, I feel like Shirley MacLaine saying that, <laughs> but, but it's that same thing. If I were to have children, I'm of a different generation, so the acceptance is a little bit more. It just makes it easier. It just, it, I, I can't say it makes it easier. Everybody has their own thing. You have to live within yourself and be true to yourself, as Madonna said, but you have to know who you are. This is your life. This is your world. This is your time. Period. No one's going to live it for you. No one's going to hand you the keys and make it okay. You have to do it yourself. You have to stand up for yourself. There are generations before you that are still alive. They got a little bit more gray hair than we do. But talk to them. The LGBT is here for you. The gay and lesbian centers are here for you. That's what this is about. We're the support system. We're the ones that'll tell you that you're gonna be okay. We're the ones that will show you the way, that have already opened the doors, that have done the fight. It is up to you to continue this fight. But know that there's always someone here within the gay community to help you through it. You're not alone in this. But it is your world. It is your world. It is your life, period. No matter what anybody says, it is your life. Live it. And I could see a big change because if you look right behind us, there's this big old line to meet two of the most famous drag queens that came out of RuPaul just this last season. They're right here, right here. And all these people waiting in line. So if they think that our community is not making an impact, our this is the proof, no? That's exactly. I mean, this, this is one example of people coming together we, but if you take every one of these people who has a separate life, we're not always here, and we all we all have work, we all have play, we all go out, you know. But it's like when we're separate, we're still connected, and you have to. It's really hard sometimes, especially if you're in an environment where you're being judged or where there's bullying or hatred. But think about this know that this exists and that you're part of it and we love you we love you we love you we love you and hey if anybody needs to talk to me i i'll be there for you i'm uh, you know you're always call there. him i'm i'm here for you robin's here for you in los angeles you can always find madonna at apla yeah. always and um just n never always be true to who you are always be true to yourself because in the end, that's, that's who you have. You have you, you know. And whether you believe in God, which I do, I believe God loves me like, God loves all creatures. If, you're, if you don't believe in God, if you, if you believe in just spirituality or whatever your belief system is or whatever your political beliefs are, you just have to go inside and know who you are. And that's what's really important. And like John Lennon, as many songs about that. And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. I always remember those things because it's about the love and it's, and I don't want to sound too cheesy, but that's, that's, that's exactly really where we are. And with all the um, other things that are going on in this world and on this planet, it's easy to get caught up in that. And it's hard for me, man, I have, you know, I'm my age and it's still hard to come back to that but that's what keeps me going is that connection that community and that love that I know exists like it does here today well thank you ladies for this wonderful interview thank you and 
We'll see you soon and happy Pride, everybody. Happy Pride. Love you all. Love you. You're watching Living Well with HIV and Holy Pride. Hi, I'm Marissa Ramirez, and you're watching Living Well with HIV. You are watching Living Well with HIV. Hi, I'm Gerald Prescott, and I'm watching Living Well with HIV. So In The Moment TV is giving a nice shout out to Living Well with HIV here in West Hollywood. Stay in tune, guys. ¿Qué onda mi gente de Living Well with HIV? Yo soy Paulina Garcés, conductora, actriz, y quiero invitarlos a que vean este show maravilloso que hoy viene con información muy, muy importante. Así que ya saben, chequen Living Well with HIV.